as the sun dips below the horizon and the stillness of night takes over, prepare yourself for a thrilling journey through nine true, spine-chilling stories guaranteed to make you think twice before turning off the lights, from the soft patter of rain on your window to the whispering winds of the night. Every sound will feel intensified as you delve into real-life narratives that have disturbed the sleep of many. Join us in exploring the dark world, brimming with mystery and terror, and discover what truly lurks behind the tales that are bound to keep you awake all night, barking incessantly from inside the house, which made my mom come to the front to see what was causing the commotion. As she peered out, she noticed the man trying to coax me closer to his car. She said it was like an electric shock went through her as she realized what was happening. My parents always warned me about strangers, but there I was, talking to one. Without hesitation, my mom stormed out of the house, with Annie right behind her, barking ferociously. The man, seeing an adult and a sizable dog approaching, quickly retreated back to his car. As he drove off, my mom made sure to get a good look at the car and his face. She then sat me down and explained the danger I had narrowly escaped. We reported the incident to the local authorities, but I'm not sure what came of it. From that day forward, I was much more wary of strangers. It's a story I think back to often. A chilling reminder of the dangers that can appear, even in the seemingly safest of neighborhoods. My parents' quick response and Annie's protective instincts may well have saved me from a much more dire outcome. It's a story that stayed with me, a cautionary tale that I've passed on to my own children. It's a stark reminder that while we can't live in fear, we must always be vigilant. Tests. I was already on edge from the recent encounter, and something about her didn't feel right. Maybe it was the protective instinct of a new mother, but I demanded to know where she was taking him and why no one had informed me beforehand. She gave a vague response, mentioning routine tests and procedures, but the uneasy feeling in my stomach wouldn't subside. I insisted on accompanying her with my son, despite my weakened state. She seemed irritated by my insistence but relented. As we moved through the hospital corridors, I noticed her taking a route that didn't seem right. I had been in the hospital for a few days and was somewhat familiar with the layout. When I questioned her, she brushed me off, saying it was a shortcut. My insistence grew as my maternal instincts screamed that something was wrong. I demanded she stop and called for another nurse. When additional staff arrived, it became clear that the woman wasn't a nurse at all. She was taken away by security, and my son was safely returned to my care. The hospital was abuzz with the incident, and I learned that there had been recent reports of child abduction attempts. My vigilance and maternal instincts had saved my son from a potential kidnapping. It was a sobering reminder of the constant vigilance needed to protect the most vulnerable among us. Both of these incidents, the close call with the stranger in my front yard and the near abduction of my son, have left a lasting impression on me. They've taught me the importance of listening to my instincts and the protective power of love, whether from a devoted pet or a mother's bond. The world can be a frightening place, but there is also incredible strength in vigilance and the protective instincts that come naturally to many of us. Life and had no idea how he even knew where we lived. He insisted, claiming that he and I had made plans, but my mom, seeing right through his lies, threatened to call the police if he didn't leave immediately. 
The man eventually left, but not before my mom took a good look at his face and his car. She was shaking, furious at the thought of what could have happened if I had been home alone or worse. If I had unknowingly agreed to meet someone so dangerous, my dad, upon hearing this, was equally enraged and protective, ensuring that I stayed inside and vigilant for the rest of the night. The police were informed, and they took statements and descriptions, but I don't think anything ever came of it. The realization that the housekeeper's constant mentioning of her son wasn't just harmless bragging, but potentially a setup for something sinister, chilled us to the bone. My mom stopped working for that family shortly after and made sure to never cross paths with the housekeeper again. As for me, I was more cautious and aware of the people around me, understanding that not everyone who appears friendly has good intentions. This series of events left a lasting impact on our lives. The near abduction of my newborn son and the alarming encounter with the housekeeper's son taught us the importance of being vigilant and protective of our loved ones. It's a harsh reminder that danger can come in many forms and from the most unexpected places. We must always be alert and ready to protect ourselves and those we care about from those who wish to do harm. After that unsettling incident with Jay, life continued, but the experiences had left an indelible mark on my perspective. It was a series of disturbing events that served as a wake-up call to the darker realities of the world. Each experience, from the stranger in the yard to the imposter nurse, the housekeeper's son, and the unnerving encounter with Jay, contributed to a growing sense of caution and awareness about personal safety and the intentions of others. In retrospect, these stories, while deeply unsettling, have been invaluable lessons. They've taught me the importance of being vigilant and trusting my instincts. They've shown me that it's okay to question situations that feel off and to take action to ensure safety, whether it's being wary of strangers, protecting loved ones, or understanding the true intentions of those around us. These narratives are a reminder to all of us about the need to be continually aware and protective. So, while these tales might be fictional, their message is very real and important. They urge us to always be mindful of our surroundings, to look out for one another, and to never underestimate the value of intuition. In a world filled with unknowns, being prepared and cautious is not just wise, it's necessary. And so, as we navigate through our own stories, let us take these lessons to heart and be ever vigilant in the face of the unknown. On my brother's window, I tried to dismiss it as some animal or a tree branch, but the rhythm of the tapping was too deliberate, too human. I froze, listening intently. The TV's noise, now a distant murmur, compared to the tapping that seemed to be getting more insistent. Finally, gathering my courage, I tiptoed to my brother's room, trying to make as little noise as possible. The tapping continued, growing louder as I approached. I peeked through the blinds and saw a figure standing outside. I couldn't make out much in the darkness, but the shape was unmistakably human. In a moment of panic, I turned on the lights in the room, hoping it would scare them away. The figure seemed to hesitate for a moment before darting away into the darkness. I was left there, heart pounding, unsure of what to do next. The next day, I decided enough was enough. I installed better locks on the doors, got a security system, 
and finally reported the incidents to the police. They took down the information and promised to patrol the area more frequently, while it gave me some peace of mind. The fear of what could have happened lingered. Looking back at all these incidents, from Jay's unsettling behavior to the repeated attempts on my home, I realize how important it is to be aware of one's surroundings and to take every potential threat seriously. It's better to overreact and be safe than to underestimate a situation and find oneself in danger. I've learned to trust my instincts, to be cautious, and to never be too embarrassed or afraid to ask for help. Safety is paramount, and it's up to us to ensure our own. These experiences, as terrifying as they were, have taught me to be more vigilant and proactive in protecting myself and my loved ones. And explaining the situation, her face turned to one of immediate concern. She quickly excused herself and followed me downstairs. But by the time we got there, the elderly couple had vanished. No one else had seen them or could recall anyone matching their description around the church. This incident, along with the unsettling experiences at my home, has only solidified my resolve to be more vigilant and protective of my own safety. The world is full of unknowns and potential dangers, and while we can't live in fear, we must live with a conscious awareness of these risks. From mysterious figures tapping on windows to strangers claiming to be relatives, each of these moments has taught me critical lessons about trust, intuition, and the importance of taking swift action when something feels amiss. I've learned the value of community and communication in ensuring safety and the necessity of reporting suspicious activities and individuals to the proper authorities. While the world is full of beauty and kindness, these stories are stark reminders of the darker sides we must be prepared to face. As I move forward, these experiences remain with me, not as a source of fear, but as powerful reminders to always be alert, cautious, and ready to protect myself and those around me from whatever may lurk just out of sight. Found me, and it was time to go home. I panicked turned around and ran back towards my apartment, not stopping to look back. I could hear her footsteps behind me, getting louder and closer. I fumbled for my keys, my hands shaking as I tried to unlock the door. Finally, I managed to get inside and slammed the door shut, locking it behind me. As I leaned against the door, trying to catch my breath, I realized the situation had escalated far beyond a simple mistake or misunderstanding. It was as if these two women were convinced I was someone else. Or perhaps they were targeting me for some unknown reason. The incident left me shaken and paranoid. I was constantly looking over my shoulder, jumping at every sound. I even considered moving to a new place but the thought of encountering them or someone else like them in a new environment was equally terrifying. These experiences have taught me to be more cautious about who I trust and how I interact with strangers. It's important to be aware of your surroundings and to listen to your instincts when something feels off. I've also learned the importance of having a plan in place for unexpected or dangerous situations like keeping my phone charged and close by, knowing the fastest route to safety, and being prepared to defend myself if necessary. In a world where the unexpected can happen at any moment, these stories are a reminder to stay vigilant and prepared. While we can't live in fear, we can live with an awareness that allows us to protect ourselves 
and those we care about from potential harm. These incidents, as frightening as they were, have made me stronger and more aware of the need to be cautious and proactive in ensuring my safety and well-being. In his room, and that I'd be right up, I quickly made my way to his bedroom, my heart racing with every step. As I reached his room, I saw him sitting up in bed, looking frightened. What's wrong? I asked him, trying to keep my voice calm despite my own fear. I heard the noises too, he whispered, his eyes wide with fear. I reassured him that everything was okay and that I'd check the basement again. But this time, I was even more apprehensive. The noises were louder and more distinct than before, as if whatever was down there was moving with more urgency. I grabbed a flashlight from the kitchen drawer and made my way to the basement door. As I descended the stairs, the shuffling noise stopped abruptly, leaving an eerie silence. I swept the flashlight beam across the room, revealing nothing but the same storage boxes and empty space. My heart was pounding as I cautiously moved around, checking every possible hiding spot. But again, there was nothing. I returned upstairs, more puzzled and unnervingly aware of the unexplained noises. I decided to stay close to the boy's room for the remainder of the night, just in case. When the parents returned home, I mentioned the strange noises, but they brushed it off, suggesting it might just be the house settling or some small animal that had found its way in. I left that night feeling uneasy. The unanswered questions about the noises lingering in my mind it wasn't until a few days later that I found out the chilling truth. The parents had called me, sounding frantic and shaken. They had found a hidden entrance in the basement, leading to a small crawl space. Inside, they discovered signs that someone had been living there, makeshift bedding, and remnants of food. The thought that someone had been in the house, possibly watching us, or moving around while I was babysitting, sent shivers down my spine. The boy and I had been in danger without even realizing it. The family moved out shortly after, and I stopped babysitting for them. The experience taught me the importance of always being vigilant and never dismissing unexplained occurrences, no matter how seemingly insignificant they might appear. It's a story that still haunts me to this day. A stark reminder of the unseen dangers that can lurk in the places we consider safe. Touch for a while as we both became busy with our own lives. However, when I returned to streaming in late summer, I was excited to reconnect with R and get back to the fun we had. We started streaming together again, just like old times. One night while streaming, R started acting a bit off. His usual cheerful demeanor was replaced with something more subdued, almost distant. I didn't think much of it at the time, assuming he was just having an off day. But as the night went on, he became increasingly strange, making odd comments and being unusually quiet. It didn't feel like the R I knew. After the stream, he sent me a message that was a complete departure from his normal tone. It was almost incoherent, talking about how he felt disconnected from everyone and everything, and that he found a new purpose that he couldn't explain. It was deeply unsettling, and I urged him to seek help or talk to someone about what he was going through. He never responded to that message. Weeks passed and I didn't hear anything from R. Then, one day, I received a call from another streamer friend who knew both of us. They were frantic, saying that R had disappeared. His social media accounts were deleted. His stream was offline, and no one could get in touch with him. 
it was as if he had vanished without a trace. The community was worried, and efforts were made to find him, but nothing came of it. This experience left me shaken and more aware of the importance of mental health, especially in online communities where people can hide their struggles behind a screen. It's a reminder to check in on friends, to offer support, and to never underestimate the impact that words and actions can have on others. Our sudden change and disappearance is something that haunts me, and I hope wherever he is, he's found peace and happiness. The events of finding a stranger in the basement and R's abrupt change and disappearance have taught me that life is unpredictable and often filled with mysteries we may never solve. These stories serve as a reminder to always be cautious, to stay vigilant, and to cherish the connections we make, for we never know what tomorrow may bring. Whether it's dealing with physical threats or the emotional well-being of those around us, it's crucial to remain attentive and proactive in ensuring the safety and health of ourselves and our communities. Could help, but before I could even start to figure out a plan of action, things escalated further. R found my personal social media accounts. I don't know how he did it, but he started sending me messages directly. They were erratic and intense, talking about how he needed to see me and how we were meant to be together. It was clear that this was no longer the R I had known. Something had changed, and it was frightening. I immediately blocked him on all platforms and informed B and J of what was happening. They were equally concerned and advised me to take extra precautions. I changed my online handles, increased my privacy settings, and even took a break from streaming to avoid any further contact. Jay, feeling somewhat responsible for not taking the situation more seriously initially, helped me navigate the privacy settings and assured me they'd both keep an eye out for any strange activity related to R. Despite the precautions, the incident left me shaken. I started looking over my shoulder, worried about who else might be watching or trying to contact me. The online community I once found so welcoming and fun had suddenly become a source of anxiety and fear. It was a stark reminder of how quickly things can change and how vulnerable we can be online. This experience taught me the importance of setting boundaries and taking online interactions seriously. It's crucial to recognize when someone's behavior crosses a line and to act swiftly to protect yourself. The internet can be a wonderful place to connect and share with others, but it also has a darker side that requires vigilance and caution. As time passed, R's attempts to contact me eventually ceased. I slowly started to return to my normal online activities, but with a newfound wariness and understanding of online safety. The events with R as unsettling as they were, served as an important lesson in digital security and personal well-being. I now share my story in hopes that it might help others recognize and respond to similar situations, ensuring they stay safe in an increasingly connected world. Think that would have only fueled his obsession further. Instead, I focused on maintaining my safety, alerting friends and family about the situation, and taking all necessary precautions to protect my privacy and well-being. I consulted with law enforcement about the stalking and was given advice on how to handle the situation and record any incidents for evidence. The constant fear of being watched and followed took a toll on me. I was always cautious about my surroundings, double-checking locks, and being wary of unknown contacts. 
It was a stressful and exhausting period, but I knew I had to remain strong and vigilant. As time went on, R's attempts became less frequent, and I started to feel a little safer. I slowly began to rebuild my online presence, but with much stricter privacy measures and a smaller, more trusted circle, I returned to streaming. But now, with a heightened awareness and a community that understood and supported my need for safety, the whole ordeal was a harrowing reminder of the dangers of oversharing online and the importance of digital privacy. It taught me to be more cautious about who I trust and to be mindful of the information I share. It was a difficult lesson, but one that has made me more resilient and aware of the need to protect myself in the digital age. I share this story not to scare others, but to emphasize the importance of online safety and to remind everyone that while the internet can be a place of connection and community, it can also harbor individuals with harmful intentions. It's crucial to be vigilant, to set boundaries, and to take immediate action when those boundaries are crossed. By doing so, we can continue to enjoy the positive aspects of the digital world while safeguarding ourselves and our loved ones against its potential dangers. Your story serves as a crucial reminder of the importance of vigilance and the potential dangers of online interactions. It's a stark realization that while the internet offers incredible opportunities for connection and community, it also poses significant risks if personal information falls into the wrong hands. Your experience underscores the need for everyone, especially those who are active online, to be cautious about sharing personal details and to be mindful of the privacy settings on their social accounts. It's also a testament to the importance of listening to your instincts. If someone's behavior makes you uncomfortable or seems off, it's vital to trust those feelings and take steps to protect yourself. Blocking, reporting, and maintaining a safe distance are all crucial strategies. Moreover, your story highlights the importance of supporting friends who might be going through similar situations. It's important to take their concerns seriously, provide a listening ear, and help them navigate through the process of ensuring their safety. Creating a supportive community can make a significant difference in handling these situations. In sharing your story, you're helping to raise awareness about online safety and the importance of setting and respecting boundaries. It's a powerful message that will hopefully encourage others to be more cautious and to take swift action if they find themselves in similar circumstances. Please remember, you're not alone, and there are resources and communities ready to support those who are dealing with online harassment or stalking. Stay safe and empowered, and thank you for sharing your experience to help others. In conclusion, the experiences shared serve as a stark reminder of the complexities and dangers that can lurk within our digital world. As we navigate the vast, interconnected networks of our online lives, it is imperative that we remain vigilant and protective of our personal information. Your story is a powerful testament to the importance of being aware of others' intentions and being prepared to take action to ensure one's safety. Let this narrative be a guiding light for all who traverse the online realm encouraging a culture of safety, respect, and awareness. May we all learn from these experiences and move forward with a renewed commitment to safeguarding ourselves and supporting each other in this ever-evolving digital age. 
Thank you for sharing your journey. For through your words, others may find the strength and knowledge to protect themselves and navigate their online interactions with caution and wisdom. Stay safe, stay aware, and let us continue to foster a safe and respectful online community for all.